There were plenty of times that I doubted myself. All I wanted to do was just be healthy and play and then worry about being great on the court later. But when you're in those moments, you know, doing rehab and it becomes really monotonous, it is hard. You got to have a good support system around you. And uh, thankfully, I did. The moment the ball leaves Curry's fingertips, you can see it rolling off with a familiar flick. And that's when the magic happens. As soon as it begins its spin, all eyes are locked on what looks like perfection. I mean, let's be real here. Who doesn't know this guy? He is a two-time NBA MVP, four-time NBA champion, and the NBA Finals MVP in 2022. Steph Curry has been dominating the NBA for years now with his impressive basketball IQ, lightning quick reflexes, and dead-eye accuracy from beyond the arc. Back in high school, Steph was actually only rated as a three-star player. That's right, a three-star player. And despite being a great player, he didn't end up going to a high major university. But you know what? That didn't stop him from becoming one of the best shooters in the league. Before he became a household name in the NBA, Curry was balling out at Davidson College, where he showed off his incredible skills and caught the attention of scouts. And in 2009, he was selected seventh overall by the Golden State Warriors. And the rest, as they say, is history. When you watch him play, you can clearly see that he's in a league of his own. He's a member of the super elite class of professional athletes that can dominate without being physically dominant. And that's something that not many players can do. To put it into perspective, let's talk about other contemporary athletes like Argentina's forward, Lionel Messi, and the great one of hockey, Wayne Gretzky. These are players who are able to dominate their respective sports with their high-end information processing and agility, just like Curry. One of the things that sets Curry apart from other players is his ability to create space for himself to make his own three-point attempts. Unlike traditional sharpshooters like Ray Allen and Reggie Miller, who did most of their damage coming off screens, catching and shooting, Curry has the skill and agility to create his own shots. Now, what can we learn from this legendary player? Well, today, we're going to break down some of the key things that any athlete can learn from Steph Curry. From his insane work ethic to his ability to stay focused under pressure, there's a lot that we can all take away from watching this man play. So get ready to learn from one of the greatest ever to do it. Because when it comes to basketball, there's no one quite like Steph Curry. But hold on, before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of our uploads. Now let's get into it. First off is the value of hard work. As you may already know, Steph Curry comes from a basketball family. His father played in the NBA as a prolific three-point shooter, and his brother also plays in the league. However, Steph himself wasn't born with the same physical attributes that most NBA players possess. He wasn't gifted with height, athleticism, or a dominating physique, but that didn't stop him from becoming one of the most lethal players on the court. Instead, Steph relied on his skills, his dedication, and his work ethic to become the player he is today. He more than makes up for his short frame and physique with his incredible work ethic and dedication to the game. I mean, let's face it, this dude has won back-to-back -back MVP awards, and that's not an easy feat by any means. So how did he do it? Well, it's simple. Sweat, sweat, and more sweat! <laughs> Steph is notorious for his insane work ethic, and his commitment to the fundamentals is evident in everything he does. Just take a look at his pregame routine, for example. You will often see him on video performing basic ball handling drills before the game even starts to get himself mentally and physically prepared for the matchup ahead. And that's not all. Curry's off-season development regimen is as impressive. He puts in the work day in and day out to make sure that he's always improving his game. The reason he is so good today is that he puts in a lot of time and focused effort to improve his skills. He didn't become a superstar overnight. It took hard work and dedication to get there. Failure. Now, failure is as important as success, and Curry embodies this. Steph's journey to NBA glory started way back in Charlotte, North Carolina. His parents, Sonia and Dale, instilled in him the importance of failing and how to respond when things don't go your way. And let me tell you, that mindset has been the driving force behind Steph's success on and off the court. You see, it's not about never failing. It's about learning from your mistakes and using them to fuel your growth. And Steph is a prime example of that. He's faced his fair share of setbacks, Curry revealed in an interview. My parents created an environment where I learned early on how to respond to failure. I played on a 10 and under AAU basketball when I was nine. So I was the youngest on the team. And there was a big moment in the national championship game where I missed a free throw to tie the game and the next one as well. So by missing those two free throws, we lost the game. My parents were very supportive of me during those moments. Even now, the emotions I experience when I think of that time are very tangible. And the power of that experience has helped me learn not to be afraid of failure. There's no denying that Curry is one of the greatest shooters of all time. His precision and accuracy from beyond the arc is unparalleled. But 26 years ago, Curry's back-to-back -back misses from the charity stripe 
cost his team a championship. Yes, you heard that right. Even the greatest athletes in the game have faced failure at some point in their careers. But what sets Curry apart is his ability to learn from his failures. He learned this lesson as a kid. That championship game more than two decades ago was by no means the end of failure for Curry. He continues to face different forms of failure as he pushes for his fifth ring and other means of success. Now, it's hard to imagine Curry and the word failure in the same sentence, but the truth is, he wouldn't be where he is today without it. Failure has helped him grow and improve as a player, and it's a lesson that we can all learn from. Practice harder than the game. You see, a lot of developing players think that they can rely on their natural talent and abilities to take them to the top. But the truth is, if you really want to succeed in this game, you have to put in the work. You have to be willing to grind, to sweat, and to push yourself to the limit every single day. And who better to look at as an example than Steph Curry? I mean, this guy is the epitome of hard work and perseverance. Steph Curry has shown that with great perseverance and developing your skill set, the effort pays off. What makes him stand out from the rest of the players is his constant desire to push himself out of his comfort zone. Now, you may have seen some of his ball handling drills where he wears goggles that impair his vision or uses two different sized balls during his drills. These drills may seem strange, but they actually serve a very important purpose. By intentionally making this ball handling more difficult than it would ever be in a real game, Steph is preparing himself for anything that might come his way on the court. He's building up his muscle memory and training his brain to react quickly to any situation. So when game time rolls around and he's only handling one ball with full vision, it's a breeze for him. He has already put himself through much more difficult situations during practice and it pays off in a big way during the actual game. Compensate for a lack of size. Well, it's no secret that he doesn't have the physical tools that most players in the league have. At six foot two and 185 pounds, Curry doesn't bulldoze like LeBron or fly like Michael Jordan. However, his advantages on the court are subtler, but just as effective. He's not the tallest or the most athletic guy out there, but what he lacks in physical attributes, he more than makes up for with his incredible skill set. One thing that Curry does exceptionally well is move without the ball. He's constantly on the move, trying to create space between himself and his defender. This is especially important when you're going up against bigger and more athletic players who can easily block your shot or contest your jumpers. When he gets the ball, he makes quick reads to maximize the space he's created. With the insane work he puts into his shooting ability, he forces team defenses to close out that space quickly, which allows him to put the ball on the ground and get right into the heart of the defense. Now, this is where things get interesting. If Steph doesn't have an easy scoring opportunity, he can create for his teammates. His ability to finish close to the rim and create for others is all predicated on his ability to draw the defense to him, far away from the basket. In other words, his presence on the court is enough to make defenses shift their focus, creating opportunities for his teammates to score. It's this level of playmaking that sets Steph apart from the rest and makes him such an incredible asset to any team he plays for. Whether you're an athlete or not, there are valuable lessons to be learned from Steph's approach to life in basketball. From his relentless work ethic to his positive attitude, Steph sets an incredible example for us all. And if you have any other tips that you want to share, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more exciting NBA content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me hear you say